<laughs> Let's explore the fight lounge. Okay, so just to let you guys know, <clears throat> just on my opinion, I don't really know for sure, but you know, mostly I do get a lot of disconnect from the server. As you guys watch my stream, I probably do get disconnected three or four times. Maybe a little bit exaggerating, but around that time, right? Three to five times. And I do feel like they they put me into like the really bad queue now. So like mostly you just meet like rage quitters and like players that sucks that they don't really rematch. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. <clears throat> So, first time visiting the fight lounge in probably over two months. Hey, hello. First time visiting the fight lounge in <clears throat> over around two months. Just want to check, like, if people are even using this shit, you know? How do I check the damn people in here? Players in lounge. Players in lounge, 65 out of 100. God lord. Go to actual Unico instead. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, ma 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 ma. They have quite some banger clothes. <laughs> you know let's you know um i personally think the fight lounge is a place for maybe casuals to hang out i don't freaking know bro it's like very rare that you see like uh pro level players in here right and doing their thing, right? It's nothing, nothing, nothing important here, you know? The highest rank I could see is this guy right here. <clears throat> you see me? I literally spent one, five, nine on a long coat. Nice! Hey man, whatever works for you, bro. Right now, I'm struggling with my uh, finance, man. I'm like, I have a lot of, I have a lot of debt, debt. I don't know if that's how you say. It. Trying to work, trying to work back to the positive, man. But you know, life isn't fair. You know, you just can't. You know, a lot of players in here tends to be console players. Man, look at the amount of console players in here. Look at that. It's a lot of console players. Let's watch these guys. <laughs> Let's just watch. The reason I have reached a new baseline of of man, this thing is blocking the chat. I can't even see what it says. I'm depression now. Soon get a job. Yeah. Honestly, I got a job the other day. Well, I I landed a job, but I didn't freaking want to work in that job, so. I just resigned the uh, I just resigned like a day after I uh, got the job because um, it just wasn't for me you know I didn't want them to waste their time training me because they were gonna train me for like two weeks right and I did the I did the bulk of the uh, training on the first day right and I was it just wasn't for me so I like resigned because it was actually taking a lot of my time too you know like I'm I don't know like 
the how much money people think is good but I was making like a minimum wage doing 10 hours of that work was like ris ridiculous because I was making more doing what I was doing not on that job which was weird like so I don't know why I accepted that offer but yeah <clears throat> so we watching some of these noobs I don't want to say noobs but <clears throat> like these guys that are probably like uh, gen uh, casual fans how they fight right one thing I always learn about these weirdos or like they like doing things and committing to it right like for example the Steve player did a raid uh, did a power crush it didn't work out he's like oh I'm just gonna do the power crush again yeah that Steve could have gone the big damage there Bro, Yoshimitsu is the str one of the strongest characters in the game, man. Anyways, I'm not gonna watch this. It's, it's pointless. I'm like the badass guy in the lounge. Ha ha ha, look at me. Yeah, there is a lot of console players, man, that likes to go into this lounge, I guess. Either way, so I'm getting out of here. How do I even get out of here? It doesn't make any sense. Here you go. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? Barcher, what's up? How's it going? It's okay. Definitely done that before. I was hired as a iOS engineer, but then I looked at the thing. I looked at the things the company are going and was immediately turned off. Also, there was another core job I worked at. Tovar, yeah. Day of two weeks and was doing it for about 100 rupees, one which is approximately 1 1 E. Yeah, a month. Yeah, see, that's the thing, you know, like, there's too much when, like, when I think about doing a job, right? Like, it's really difficult to make a decision, right? Because if you're not doing something worth more than what you are doing currently, why would you give up that current time to do something that, you know, is... It's because, you know, like with jobs, it's more like uh, people, I feel like it's like because you, you have a safe place or like uh, security, right? Like it's like, okay, because, you know, you can go to work every day. That's why you work there, right? Because it's more secure, right? If, if you had a bad job, I'm talking about, right? And you didn't want to go find a better job or if you just stuck somewhere right and you keep doing it it's because you you feel that there's that security that's why you keep wanting to do it right but the thing with me was like i had the security like that i was working at a job i didn't like anyways that much it wasn't bad it wasn't good either but it was just really um uh, a lot of work and the pay was good too back then but then of course i still quit because um I wanted to pursue different stuff, you know, but uh, now I'm in a situation where like the job that I picked up uh, recently was really not worth it. So I like just resigned, but I don't know. For the most part, you should always look for something that is worth your uh, time, man, because like I, I like this, you, you have to calculate everything, right? Like when. Like most people, when they calculate work time, they probably think about, oh, I go to work for like eight to 10 hours a day with the actual clock. But if you're considering travel time, you know, the travel time, the distance, and then what you do before you get there, you know, or after you come back, you know, and then that's already wasting a lot of your time. So sometimes maybe 10 or eight hours turn into 10 to 12 hours, you know? 
something like that. Okay, anyways, I was telling you guys that uh, I felt I felt like um, they kicked me into the you know the bad queue as they say, right? Where like you the only like the rage quitters are in, right? Or something. That's how I feel because I tried playing this game like I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before yesterday and I could not get any matches. It took forever to get a match and then I would be paired up with really bad players and these players would like rage quit and I was just like okay maybe I'm in the bad queue now because I'm not getting any opponent and yeah I mean I don't know why but okay so so I did I did tweet to Michael Murky though I was like yo I don't know why I got into this bad queue possibly I'm in the bad queue I don't know but obviously I never rage quit the, the worst thing about my setup is that I do get disconnect a lot from the server. Like, I always say maybe three to five times. When I'm streaming, I get uh, kicked out at least three to five times every stream. That's around two hours, right? Generically, when I play, you know, like on my casual playing with when I'm not recording, about the same rate, right? But those are not rage quit and if it was rage quit on the end the opponent's end like let's say we're playing and we did get disconnected and there's no idea that that happened right like because you just, even when i beat the opponent even when i'm fighting the opponent if there is a disconnection i'm still fighting his his fake ghost or something right until the match is over right and i just don't get points right that's usually what happens because I've tested the system a lot of times where they don't give you points after you beat them, even though you get get disconnected fighting the fake guy. And then um, uh, the only thing that I could assume I could see myself being reported for is like hitting the opponent's dead body afterwards, right? Like sometimes when you kill your opponent, you just constantly hit their body, right? And I don't even do that often. If you guys watch my play, I don't do that often. Right? But I personally believe I'm in the bad queue now because I don't get any opponents anymore. It's almost like, like, what's the point of playing Tekken 8 now? Or either I have to just start a new account. If if I start a new account, would it change? I don't freaking know because maybe it's my IP address. I don't freaking know, right? But the fact that I'm not getting any opponent anymore and the fact that I'm only getting paired up with like really bad players like really bad players players that if you that are like uh Tekken god rank but then they don't punish you 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 go up and you s do like the very punishable options not very punishable but the semi punishable option and they don't punish you for it and i don't know but it, it became really annoying and boring because it feels like i just want to quit playing Tekken 8 now because it's not my fault i've never rage quit I do uh, hit people's bodies sometime when they're dead, but if somebody was like sad enough to like report me for beating their dead body, then shit, I guess I deserve to be in this bad queue, right? Okay, <clears throat> people are saying that they changed the matchmaking system a day or so ago. One person claimed that matchmaking is done by Tekken Paris. Really? Okay, so this is my first match right now. This is the first match of the day. It's with the Wi-Fi player. It's with the LOL player. It's with a 185 power risk. Let's see. Let's see what he's got. And one thing too, is all the opponents that I've been playing since like a day or two days ago has all been like one and done players. So let's see what happens here, okay? Oh wait, he can punish. I knew he was gonna do that too. But I tried to time it and it didn't work. I ducked that. No punish? Again. Oh, poor guy. I did his own trick on him. 
I did his own trick on him, man. And he fell for it. Bro, see what? Bullshit, bro. That was so bullshit. I timed that perfectly. That was so bullshit, man. I did just do down four too. Oh, he called that one out. Oh! Old habits, man. That used to be minus 16. Now it's only minus 13. Or that used to be minus 17, right? Bro, your lag is really bad. Do I try to sidestep? They made me duck. Dude, this guy would duck every time after that. Just rage quit already, bro. You freaking lag so badly. Wow. What is going on, bro? Bro, he can't even block that. Bro, what is happening? Bro, the lag is so bad, man. What the heck? Oh, <gasps> he he rematch. What are the odds? Yo, what's up? Round one. Closest thing we can get to Anna right here, bro. No launcher, okay. Dude, he's gonna duck every time after that. And he's gonna duck. This guy ducks every time, bro. Just keep ducking. Wow, he actually pressed on that. Bro, I can't even tech roll anymore. That's crazy. I tried tech rolling after the wall combo and my character just didn't do anything. He keeps ducking all the time. Bro, what is happening? Oh, insane lag. No punish. Oh my goodness. Nothing is working. Nothing is working, bro. The lag is so insane, man. Bro, seriously? Like anytime I do anything, it's so freaking like crazy, right? Whoa! Damn, same setup, bro. The lag is so bad, man. When Anna DLC is out, probably next year, uh, the same time around uh, Eddie. Bro, please don't lag, man. Please don't lag, bro. Bro, seriously? Just because you lag so bad, you can't just hope that all the lag can help you, bro. Bro, seriously? What's up with the freaking lag, man? Thing over and over again. 
bro. You trying too hard. You see, like uh, bad players, they love these same setup, right? But it works in the short set, right? That's the thing, you know. No punish? Come on, your law, bro. You should be able to punish that so easy. Why is that even safe, anyway? Bro, seriously? The lag just like saved him right there. Bro, I can't even tech. I, I can't even tech right there. Oh, can't believe he punished me. Bro, seriously? What? I never even pressed the second button. Bro, your lag is so bad, bro. I can't even tech roll. I can't even tech roll, bro. Like, when I get hit, I can't even tech roll. so bad bro get some regular connection man shoot how does a player like this even play bro i mean i get it maybe on his end it doesn't lag at all man maybe he can just play really fluently but damn i'm telling you guys man i've been put into like the really bad queue man where it's just like the, the connection is like like that like when they hit you and you can't tech roll like it doesn't make sense like okay um, he just hit me with a wall combo that doesn't like um, put me grounded, right? But I can't tech roll. There were so many times where I tried tech rolling in that scenario where it was just not letting me tech roll. And that's sad, you know? But anyways, anyways. Um, that's why I don't play with Wi-Fi players. Yeah, I know. Wi-Fi players are just uh, hopeless, man. But at this point, I can't get any opponents, so yeah. Hey, nice to see you, Poland. Um, hello, AB. I'm expecting an announcement next week. Really? Bro, you have too much hope, man. I can assure you guys, if that leak is real, we're going to see one of those three idiots, uh, Murdoch, Fukurum, or Lydia. And being that it's in Japan, I don't freaking know, man. Usually, you know, they were trying to, you know, uh, I don't know if it was last year. It was last year, wasn't it? When they were like trying to announce a character every time they go to a certain region, right? Like they would announce, who was it? I don't even remember, but certain characters were being announced in certain regions. And it was just like, oh yeah, they should be proud because it's their hometown character. Nobody gives a shit, man. Play Tekken 7 instead, yeah. Evil, uh, no, Evil is already the like the sign up and everything's already done. Uh, even for a spectator, I'm not going, bro. Do you guys see like the Tekken shop stuff? Like, not none of the merchandise is Anna related at all. Like, they got all these merchandise that are like Tekken for Evil, and there is no Anna merchandise, so it's like, bro. If you're an Anna fan, you're just like, well, okay, I mean, uh, cool, but, uh, you know, it's weird, right? Like, I, I always tell people this. I've been playing Tekken for, like, over 20, maybe 25-ish years. I don't freaking know how long I've been playing Tekken, right? But I've been playing Tekken for a long time. It was in, like, my, it was, like, when I was around 16, 17 years old. <laughs> Wait, I'm only 16. Wait, 
I'm not trying to give my age up. You know, my, my point was, I was playing Tekken when I was in like, uh, maybe my second year in high school. But my point is, it's really easy to say, damn, I've been playing Tekken so long and people will be like, you're a Tekken fan. You're a fan of Tekken, right? But you'll be like, no, I'm not really a fan of Tekken because... I really don't care about Tekken, right? I only like Anna, right? It's like that, right? But I'm still playing Tekken even though Anna's not in the game, which is stupid, right? And right at the moment, the game is so fucked up that, uh, the game is so messed up that I don't even know if people can even find matches anymore. Because, uh, yeah. I, like, the last, I don't know, the last time I got on and played this game, I had the same issue where I can't find any opponent at all. Like, what's the point? Like, I, I could try playing player's match, but player's match is going to be extremely boring. Because right now, there's still, like, a lot of, like, uh, I don't want to say noobs, but there's still a lot of, like, extreme casual players that don't really care to get good. And they only want to win. Like, how do you want to win and not try to get good in this game, right? That's stupid, right? And the fact that that's the case, um, players' matches fill of those people who just don't really want to play. They just want to win, but how do you win with just freaking uh, not really wanting to play, right? And here we go. Let's see if we finally get somebody good. Get ready for the next battle. Uh, another law player. Nah, this guy sucks. I think I've already fought this guy. This guy is the same, like I'm talking about bad Q, bad Q players, right? Damn, I can't believe that beat it out. Whoa, everything's just hitting me. Take an A for you, bro. I'm almost dead. Ah, oh, what am I doing, see? Noobs always get hit with that for some freaking reason. I don't freaking know, man. You got me! I even stepped backward just to try to avoid the distance right there. But then he still got me. No punish because he's a law player. At this uh, rank and you don't know how to punish a uh, certain option, just crazy, right? Okay, so after I uh, down for one, he always duck. It seems like. Dude, I cannot tech roll. What is wrong with this game? What is wrong with this game right now? I cannot tech roll. Okay, see, you notice that? He already is ducking right there. Bro, seriously? Oh, he got me. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, shit. Good shit. Damn, he got me. I was calling out the regular power crush. Dang, yellow got me. He's gonna quit. He's a one and done player, bro. Yeah, I don't know how I got to this really bad queue where like there's just a bunch of really sloppy players who don't really know how to play the game well, but I mean they could still win games. Um, yeah, Tekken 8. I'll tell you guys the problem with Tekken 8, right? Tekken 8 develop a uh, sense of like when the opponent, they only know how to play offense and they don't know how to play defense, right? Meaning that, oh, this is the same guy. Uh, meaning that they're going to use their crushing options all the time, right? And they don't like to hold back, right? Oh, this is a different player. I'm surprised. This is a freaking uh, Brian player instead. <clears throat> Mm. 
This is the bad Q, so I'm telling you guys, man, bad Q sucks, bro. Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting, too. Minus 14. And bad Q players all plays the freaking same, bro. Why, man? Oh, shoot, that was too fast. Bah, bah. Bah, damn. That killed me. Again? The same thing? Okay. Okay, so anytime he doesn't punish, he's just going to go for the... Uh, he's just going to go for the low one. Nice shit, calling it out. No, I couldn't block that, why not? And bad players are gonna be bad, bro. Yeah, no, don't know frames. Going for low, yeah. He doesn't even know, bro. Bro, you don't even know, bro. Wow, nice tricks. Okay. Round four. Fight. Really, bro? This is what I'm talking about. He's gonna rage quit, watch. Wall splat. Bro, how do you make it to Tekken God, man? Gotta be cheating or something, right? I'm just kidding. Bro, anybody can make it to like top rank in this game, man. Because the fact is that you don't really have to know anything. You just have to make sure you're spamming your options enough, right? And the more time you hit your option, you're gonna win. Oh, I should've just won one jab again. Idiot. Woohoo! Of course. Dang it, he actually got me. Game. Dang it. He, I don't think he has another option, right? Does he have a new option yet? For the mix there? I got scared because I thought he might have like a new option, right? And I don't know, right? Wow. Bro, I have not fought many Bryans in this game, bro. Poor guy. Doesn't punish, bro. Of course, I already know, bro. Damn, he got so lucky. <laughs> oh, poor guy, you're dead. Dang it! I thought he was dead, man. Why is there a wall here anyway? He 
Dang it, did not reach. My bad for calling him dead, man. Wow. Dang it, should have ducked. Nice shit. Oh, pat, pat, pat. Pat, oh my goodness. <laughs> my pat. Dang, he got me. <sighs> he got me, bro. I could have just kept going full 4 4 down 2 until like uh, that moment, but. In my mind, I was just set up. Yeah, this player is. <laughs> uh, my pad has like a bad connection because I'm using a wired, right? And then, um, like, if I. Uh, Press it down a little bit. Like if I, I if I let it down a little bit, then it does that, you know. Oh wait, you punish, bro. You punish for reals. Fifteen. Whoa! Why does that shit do that, bro? Dang it. I'm not used to seeing his freaking rage uh, burst and shit, you know? Bro, no reaction? Oh! It's minus 13, so I should have been able to, uh... That shit is safe now, why? Brian feels like fucking uh, Le uh, Leo, man. Too many safe mid mid string that are fucking uh, safe, you know, and that are launchers, right? Like why, right? Really? Bro, I blocked that though. That's lame. Totally blocked the low. Nice call out there. Oh, what the heck? Bro, since when was that not safe, bro? Bro, you just got so lucky. It was so laggy too, man. Shit. Like, how does he getting away with, like, wake up kick and being punished? Like, what the fuck, bro? That's safe, man. Get ready for the next battle. Anyways, that guy was not that good, man. Definitely not a good Brian player, right? Like, he, he won more with just his basic setups than actually, like, doing uh, really good punishments, moving and uh, reacting, right? My point is, he wins by guessing hard more than actually, like, uh, winning with, like, his actual uh, skills, right? Like, I mean, it all... It, all in all is all skills right but uh the value of the skill is less when you're going in and just guessing hard right versus like if you're uh actually reacting to and playing because you see it right but i don't blame him i mean most people can play that way you know tekken 8 ba 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 nothing Bro, this Paul player looks good though, shit. Definitely better than the Brian player by far. I don't know the frames on that shit. Ball flat. Oh, 
I don't know if he's good or he sucks, but 13, I have 14. No punish? Okay, now he sucks. He's just the same like the other guy. And he keeps pressing right there. I don't know why. Bro, it ain't even that punishable. Wow. I thought it was good, but then after a little bit, you can tell that... You can always tell the level of a player when they don't, like, do stuff that you're expecting them to be better, right? Like, no ducks. No ducks on strings that are just no mix-up, right? Uh, pressing into a frame trap, which doesn't make sense much, right? He had it. Didn't believe. Again, same fucking trick, bro. Really? Yeah, I know you can break through, bro. Bang! Usually a player that spams a lot of throw is probably one that can't break throws, right? That's usually what I think. Unless he really knows what he's doing, right? There's a difference, right? Whoa, what's my character doing? I was like waiting way too long to try to uh, bait out the counter hit, but her back one is not that great, you know? It's extremely slow, it doesn't crush, so when you use it, you're in danger, you know? Bro, you just keep pressing, man. Seriously, bro? This is what I'm talking about, right? This player is literally like the offensive spammer that uh, most people would associate uh, Tekken 8 with, though, right? <laughs> because he's using so much crushing option, right? That it just makes you think like that, oh, he's gonna just throw this, he's just gonna throw that. Yeah. Bro, I, I, like, I, I blocked, but I don't know, maybe because it's Wi-Fi, right? I don't know the frames on that shit. Yeah, I knew he doesn't know how to punish that, so he's gonna do that. Oh, he got me. I'm dead. It's strange, right? How he can break that? frames yeah that's guaranteed final round fight of course of course. Oh. oh! I'm dead. Really? Oh shit! Four two would have hit. Ah! Oh, I totally lost that because of myself. His wall rising two is like minus twelve, right? But. It looked like it was so out of range that I thought that for sure I wasn't going to get a hit him, right? And he wouldn't want a rematch, really? Bro, can't believe I lost to that guy. Get ready for the, next <laughs> the thing is, you can tell that player was not very good, right? 
And then obviously the combo drop is really stupid in this game too. Because with male characters, for some reason male characters primarily like Dragnoff, Paul, uh, I don't know, uh, Kazuya too, like some of the male characters when you do like the parry into uh, the combo, they tend to like not work. So I need to change my combo, you know? Oops, did I put mid? Hey, usually this combo works on female characters, right? But, for some reason when you do this combo, it doesn't work on male characters. the damage right here. This is 41 damage. That's not even a combo anymore. And see the problem is that the combo shit is weird man. Get ready what for the what next battle. is this rank bro? <laughs> yeah this is ranked but rank is not a big deal right? Who's this man? Is this Belgian? Who is this? Eddie player? Let's be real, bro. Any Eddie player that gets carried getting up here is carried, right? Wow, really? Bro, I'm gonna press every time. I don't know your character, bro. I'm gonna press every time. Oh, I didn't press. I lied. <laughs> I should have just pressed again. I didn't get my part, my uh... Bro, seriously man, these Eddie players are just fake players bro, like... Like, they're so bad man. Right, you could just tell that that guy, he just didn't punish me big on both of those, right? Constantly duck jab too. Constantly duck jab players. What the fuck? How do you get to this rank, bro? Who did you fight? Nobody. Seriously, bro. Shit. Who did you fight, man? Back three. Wow. Not a true Eddie player, bro. Or just a sucky Eddie player, let me rephrase that. Fucking stupid player, bro. Sorry, I'm just cursing a lot because this guy sucks and yet he's a Tekken God uh, destruction, right? Damn, dead. Bro, seriously? Exactly what I'm talking about why um, Tekken 8 is bad, right? Like because he doesn't want to play defense, you know? I mean, I know in Tekken 7 it exists too, but hey, it's like, well, I don't want to play defense, Power Crush. It's a good option right there, but I didn't like Tekken 7 for that same reason too, though. Ah, uh, 13 only. Bro, what the fuck, man? Stupid lag. No punish, man. I'm telling you, dude. How does player like this even get up in rank, bro?
Bro, you don't punish. You don't even know what a punish is, probably, you know? Yeah, oh my god, bro, seriously. This is what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you don't even know frames. Like, why would I ever be afraid of a player that doesn't know frames? No punish? Yeah, I figure you don't punish, bro. I already know, bro. You're just gonna go low if you don't punish, bro. You don't even mix it up either. Okay. Good mix. Why not? Okay, going for the low options now. Okay. Whoa. Oh, nice mix-up. The thing is, I don't really know this character's freaking uh, moveset, right? Because it looks so different now, you yeah? know? Oh, seriously, bro. I don't even punish. Nice shit. That's not what I wanted! <sighs> if I would've just delayed a little bit longer, man. It's crazy how like a really bad Eddie player can get up higher rank than a really bad those other two, three players that I was playing earlier, right? No punish. Wow, great punish. Dang it, that freaking trash, bro. Whiff. God damn, I can't believe he punished! <laughs> Bro, this dude sucks ass, man. You notice that at the end there, I was just going in with a bunch of uh, like noob setups, right? And it was working, right? The problem is, if I would have played like he was a noob and just throw out like uh, noob setups, I would have won, right? But instead, I was trying to play with like more uh, reactive and trying to see shit, right? But the moment that I started doing like sidestep one plus two into down one plus uh, down three plus four, or down back four, it's like bro, it started hitting him. I was just like, God, Lord, this guy. Uh. <laughs> exactly right. Like the truth is, people they don't care to get good at the game, uh, as Harada and the uh, Sony guy they were talking about, right? People just player just wants to win they don't care about getting good at a game why right like why they want to spend their money to win so why not make it like that right bro they should just have like they should just make a like a system where like when they pay money they just get additional like health or some shit right so that they can like enjoy winning with like 5,000 health and their opponent can keep hitting them and they just won't die or some shit But anyways That Eddie player was trashed anyways. He w I mean he's not trash trash, but he's like not that good He's the kind of player that Basically if you don't know how to punish you don't know how to react to your uh, you know, Your opponent's moves you don't know the matchup. You don't know anything But if you just throw out your own little gimmicks and shit, you're gonna win at some point I mean, you're gonna win right? Anyways, I'm pissed off, bro. I'm pissed that this game is so freaking like... It's not matching me up with anybody. Yeah. Like, the fact that there's a lot of really bad players that can just get up into, like, a uh, god of destruction without learning, like, anything, right? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, the fact that you can't even punish... You don't even punish, and you're in that ring. You don't even know what a punish is, let's be real, right? 
You probably can't even play like defense either. I should have just kept throwing him because I I would be I would be sure he doesn't know how to throw a break either. Oh. Anyways, kind of annoyed. And the thing is with the battle pass, it's kind of like it's free though. If you if you buy the uh, if you buy the battle pass, they just give you the the points back. The only time when it costs money is obviously when you're buying the the coins, right? And then you have to use those coins to recycle the battle pass, which kind of sucks. But I mean, which is not bad. That's not the bad part about it. It's just uh, yeah. I don't know. I really don't get it. So if I do this, I can't combo. This is like an inconsistent option, though. It's not what I wanted, man. It was getting me so mad. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Tekken 8 is so annoying. The game can't. You can't pair it up with anybody. They pair you up with really bad players now, right? Like the really bad players where they suck at the game and they don't know how to do anything. Yet they don't like to rematch. It takes like freaking five minutes just to match up with one opponent no oh. seriously uh, I don't know what it is but maybe they want us to quit playing Tekken I mean I'm fine if they want us to quit playing Tekken right shacks it is PUBG what are you even talking about <laughs> Tekken 7 doesn't have any a player though right now. Let me see. I'm gonna check Steam chart real quick right here. I mean, Tekken 7 still has players playing. But, you know, the funny thing is that Tekken 7 never had that much people anyway to play. Like, you know, it's always around this... 3000 ish, right? Uh, average player zone before uh, Tekken 8 came out, right? So basically, there's just that additional 2000 ish people that, uh, or a little bit more maybe, like about 3000 people, maybe not 3000, but two, two and a half thousand people that are playing, right? Yeah, but the crazy thing is that, um, Tekken 8 is dying like crazy, bro. Like, uh, the fact that you got Tekken 8 not performing as well as like Street Fighter, right? Yeah. You got Street Fighter that's performing better than Tekken 8. It's just kind of like, uh, yeah. Yeah. It just uh, shows you that the fucking dev team sucks and they're like messing up their own game because they don't know what the beep they're doing bro like what is this I'm in rank match I've been in the I've been in the search queue for like what two minutes now maybe who freaking knows how long I've been in the search queue for but all in all all I know is that um I'm not getting any matches so do they want me to just not play Tekken 8 I could just not play Tekken 8 and go play Tekken 7, bro. I don't give a shit, man. This game is not even that fun, bro. It's full of, like... Like, one thing that I... You know, like, Nii and Arslan is talking a lot of bad shit about how the gameplay sucks, right? Like, it's just not very, um... Oriented with, uh... Uh... Timing and, um... Reaction, right? Reaction and timing, right? It's not. And it really isn't, right? Like... Ni and Arslan, they don't put it into good words, right? When they're talking about it, because they they tend to say things that um, makes people upset without really touching the markers, right? That hitting the pointers, right? But like 
if you're playing Tekken at a high level, you understand the game to a certain degree, right? And if you want your skills to represent you, or if you want your skill or your your ability to be able to win you the game, you want to be able to see what's happening. You want to be able to react to it, and you're wanting to be able to win with those kind of actions, right? But Tekken 8 has designed a scenario where you don't use that kind of fundamentals to win the game. You more so rely on big reads rather than that, right? So, in other words, just throw out the big guess all the time. For example, oh, if I did a safe move, right? If I did a safe move, just shoot your like off. I mean, this 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 exists in Tekken Seven as well, but there's a huge difference in Tekken Seven, right? Whereas like in Tekken Seven, you don't have all that one launcher leading to another launcher, right? a pressure option leading to a pressure option, blah blah blah, so on, right? And with that in Tekken Eight, it kind of divides this. Oh, I'm just gonna make my offensive guess constant, constantly. Bro, uh, the the graphic, the glitch right here, bro. This dude's about to quit, man. I need to know the re the. Uh, yeah, but look, this this player is an example of Tekken 8 fight style, right? Yeah, see, it almost worked. Didn't work though. Nope, did not duck on that. He tries to uh, use the Tekken 8 fight style, but the problem here is that he's not um, he's not well versed enough to really utilize it, right? Because you can see he does some of the safe option into like Power Crush, but but uh, what I'm trying to say here is uh, but he doesn't have enough skills even at his level to uh, you see uh, that was the punish that he could have thrown a punish, but instead he doesn't. Yeah, see. Like if they're the noobs at this level, yeah, it's easier to deal with, right? But if they... Oh, nice. Yeah, because he doesn't have enough mind game yet as a noob to really utilize these like really bad um, offensive uh, pressure, right? And uh, um, a rewarding offense of shit, right? Like he tries to use his uh, power crush, like I said, but he's not using it in well manner, right? Because he doesn't know enough, right? Nice shit. Good, 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 good. Is that really 12 frames though? Ah, oh, shoot. And the one thing with this kind of player is that they're just underwhelmed by the pressure option that the the stuff they just don't know, right? That's a nice pressure. I mean, that's a nice push off that he would usually. Nice. It's safe. Sorry. 
I have no, I don't have a lot of matchup knowledge against uh, a Sisena either, you know. So. Yeah, see exactly like right there, right? Trey, he'll go for that uh, punch parry option, right? Get ready for the next battle. What is... What is this family marked? <laughs> I don't know what that. That was just uh the mod uh, glitched her character, right? So she probably had a different outfit on, but the mod made the outfit look really weird and shit. But anyways, I don't know, man. I I all I can say is that if you watch uh, a lot of the uh, high level Tekken right now, in uh, like the tournaments, like the Korean players that are playing, right? More so the Koreans than the other players because. If you watch the Korean player, they still play this uh, kind of um, uh, traditional Tekken 7 mix with Tekken 8, right? And you can tell that players like Ni, who is struggling with the game at the high level, the real reason why he's struggling is because he still believes that he can win more with playing good defense, right? And the real truth is, it's harder to play good defense when your opponent just has consistently good offense that they can spam, right? Like for example, when their opponent, when knees playing against somebody where their the opponent throwing like a certain option that is safe and pretty high safe option, right? Europe? <coughs> Wi-Fi? Okay, sure. <clears throat> um, but my point is this. Um, so a player that can throw like a safe um option that is a fairly safe uh where they will probably more than likely take a defensive stance in the next uh scenario usually knee would like try to switch up his timing and throw like a counter hit mid or some shit like that right usually something like that happens right but in these kind of scenarios you can't really do that because they're just gonna power crush or do something really like hard read right Bro, seriously, I didn't step that. Oh, he got me. What? He didn't. Yeah, he didn't throw it out. Bro, the counter hit. I'm dead. Yeah, my point is, uh, Tekken 8, a lot of players can just um, spam that, right? Damn it like that. Seems like he likes to stay on the ground. Okay. Round <clears> three. <throat> Fight. Nice shit, man. Nothing? Oh, that's what I get. Okay, hopefully this hits male characters. Sometimes it doesn't freaking hit. Darn it. Ah, ha, sheesh. Can't believe I got hit with that, man. I should've just finished it off with the uh, other one. Dang it. I really went for something else, but... Run up rage drive, right? I mean rage burst, right? Whoa. Ooh, 
so lucky. Just got it. Bro, my pad. Yikes, bro, my pad. Almost cost me there. Good try, Europe guy, man. Good try. Round one. <sighs> nice shit, man. Down two is so fucking good, man. Like, against himself, yeah, Jin has a 14 frame launcher, but not every fucking player has a 14 frame launcher, you know? Dude, that was a wild rising, I didn't get it. Trying too hard, bro. Is this just the bad connection or what? that this game the uh, oh shucks I forget that the freaking throws tracks now boom, boom, boom. and I'm dead he mad look at that shit shit so did just grab again Did the fastest move I could. Nice shit, bro. Nice try. I must be in that bad queue, bro. Every player that I fought are like trash players, right? <laughs> okay, not trash player. They play Tekken 8 like Tekken 8. And I think players that play Tekken 8 like Tekken 8 are trash players, bro. I'm gonna be really honest. I, I think anybody that is uh, very good at Tekken 8 in the Tekken 8 playstyle, they are trash player. No, I'm just joking. I know that sounds so rude and stuff, but bro, it's because when you play Tekken 8 like Tekken 8, it's more like I don't really care about how I win, right? Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna see why I win. I'm just gonna do it, and if I win, I win because. You know it worked out 
it, I win because it worked out. Not I win because I realize that I'm actually going to win, right? Like if you block something and you punish it, you're like, okay, that's because I realize that is the block punishable option and I'm going to punish it. Whereas like in Tekken 8, it's more like, well, I'm just going to throw this and then, well, if this doesn't work, I'm going to throw this next because this one will keep me safe. I'm, it won't keep me safe, but it will only take me chip damage. And if I hit him with that, I'm going to recover the chip damage anyways. And I got armor, so that's an option. So it's safe. And then now when I hit that, it's still my turn because I can still do it again because it's a safe option, right? It's kind of like that, right? Really? No, that's not what I wanted. No punish, bro, really? Nice high crush option. Bro, I can tell this guy doesn't have good reaction either. No punish, I figure. <laughs> ah, sheesh, I keep guessing hard on that. Bro, no reaction, man. Like, he just doesn't punish. Bro, that's not what I wanted. Wild Rising 3. I figure he doesn't know frame, so... Got me! You could tell, like, all these players I fought so far, they're all really bad, right? They're all just, like, players who doesn't really know uh, what they're doing. I mean, they know what they're doing, but all the stuff that they're doing has more to do with, uh, has more to do with, like, they're just guessing hard reads, right? Like, I could do a lot of setups like that, too, you know, but does it make me feel like I'm better than them? Yeah, see? That's what happens when you don't really know frames, right? Like, he doesn't even know that's like plus seven or six. It used to be, but it's not anymore, both really. How is that not punishable? I mean, how is that not guaranteed? That's so weird. He keeps stepping on with that because he thinks it's plus, so. Minus. Nice. Well, I had it too, and I pressed it too, but it didn't come out. Nice call out, and wrong punish, but it still works because I press. Damn, man, chip damage, bro. Dang it! Why am I messing up so bad, man, against a player that's this bad? Like, I'm playing so bad and I still won, it was great for me, right? Shit, I guess, it's great for me. <sighs> I'm not joking, bro. I'm not joking. You see, this is the problem, right? Like, players that doesn't even know how to frame trap, right? And that's what causes that. 
right? Like, he's trying to press in scenarios like that, but why, right? It doesn't work like that, bro. You have to actually understand the game a little bit to press the way that I press. Because I understand that he's not doing, he's not using what he should be using, right? Man, my input is not coming out like I want it to. Problem is clear, right? He doesn't know the frames, he doesn't understand the game at a high enough level, right? Like the fact that he's constantly trying to throw crushing option after his turn, uh, that when it's his turn, it's kind of funny, right? He had that one right there. Like who throws crushing option during their turn, right? Like it's his turn, he could just throw any kind of poke, but he doesn't. My turn, but he stole it. That's okay. That's fine. No, how did I not parry that? Yeah, beginner level player. Bullshit. Ah, what the freak, bro? This game is cheating me, bro. Not good, bro. What the peep is wrong with this game, man? I'm mad. I'm mad as fuck, bro. Sorry. Uh, I think the game just hates you for using my. <laughs> Why, when Tekken players play good player, they say the character in Tekken is. It with too many offensive options. Why can't they just uh... now? Tekken A in general is just bad, man. Shit. Just think about it. Like the fact that you don't have to really like. Well, okay. No matter what, you have to still think. But the fact that the player would rather just do like power crush after power crush, right? Scenarios like that, which it doesn't often work, obviously, but rather or like safe into power crush or you know things like that more often than like in Tekken 7 because in Tekken 7 if you do a power crush and you get like uh let's say you do like a slow power crush and you get hit boom boom and then they block it you still get like full punish this one oh boom boom it becomes chip damage if you hit it if you get if you block it oh it's no longer punishable right so why not just spam it all the time right it's kind of like that but the problem there is it's still uh you have to have a character with really good power crush right like if you have a power crush like lily's core circle for one plus two it kind of sucks right because now you have to in input a longer input to try to throw it so during a pre pressure students uh situation it's not as easy to use as like a just maybe i press one button or like a one direction button like this one but then this one is way too slow right so if you have a move that is like 16 frames power crush and you can just use it with no uh, hard inputs why not throw that a lot out during like scenarios where you are like safe minus three ish right because if you do that what will generally happen is you don't lose blood for getting hit because you're gonna recover that health anyways but 
that's like the Tekken 8 mindset that I just can't get into, right? And I think they put me in like a bad cue, so I'm always playing with like badass players, right? Like badass players, like the best players in the country, bro. <coughs> bro, look, he's kicking my ass, bro. Okay. Just do down four or two. He probably won't even punish me anyways. Jab into low punch. Again. No punish. Ba -bam! Okay, okay, okay. I should have hop kick his freaking shoulder, man. I should have. He is not plus on that. He never was, but I don't know if he would be in this game. Whoa! He loves to do that, so I have to pay attention to that. Still minus 15, bro. Not out of the woods yet. Oh! Again, the same shit. Die! I just needed. Oh, that was a down 4 or 2, man. No, that was a 4 or 2. That's so lame. <laughs> this. Okay, maybe it's my pad. But, bro, that's so lame, man. Oh, try to do while wow rising too so fast that it just became like that. My pad is very bad though, man. I have to like, uh, I have to like try to figure something out with this pad, man, because it's not giving me all the inputs I want. My goodness. Can't believe I couldn't even punish that with down 4 1, man. Well, I'm just gonna keep fighting all these guys in this bad queue. Oh, I forget where uh, down uh, 4 1 plus 2, I mean normal 1 plus 2. He kicked it out that time. Yeah, I should have just shot that last kick out. Papa, low, no, nope. bro, my pad is not working, bro, man. I don't fucking know what to punish right there, man. Because Law's backflip gives me the idea that it's going to be like a freaking crouching, right? Like after that, he's gonna be crouching. So I figure if I did four, two, three, he would freaking duck it. But I think that's the right punish, though. What? No wall splat. Dang it! I did sidestep three and it still didn't work. Oh, at least I blocked that. Nice. Oh, if I would have caught him there, he would have been close to dead. 
can walk that way, yes. Yes, he's gonna duck. Fucking shit, I don't know. Does he even know that, that there's a third string on that? He probably doesn't know because I haven't warned him yet. That's mine, bro. I can't believe that actually worked out in this game. Well, oh, that's minus again. Same scenario, bro. Should've did the, the panic down 2-3. Yep. Damn, bro. Well, I mean, he could've crushed it. Could've crushed it, but didn't crush it. Well, I've been beating up a bunch of nobodies. Yeah, I'm so good. I got like a 9 or 10 win streak right now because I've been fighting nobodies in the nobody queue. <coughs> They're doing what the game allows them to do. Yeah, I know. That's the problem with this game though, man. I mean, I, I get it, man. Like a lot of people... Uh... All I'm saying is, like I keep saying from earlier, right? When you play against a player where you feel like, man, they're making these big callouts and it all is always working, right? And then you're like, damn, they suck, right? In your mind, you're just immediately thinking like, damn, they suck, right? This guy's just getting away with this. He's getting away with that. That's how I feel, right? But personally, uh, it doesn't mean that they suck. It just means that well, that's their tin that's their uh, Intuition, you know, that's what they kind of got going for them Yeah, anyways, that's just kind of how I see it, but Not a big deal man. It's just like, you know, like when you play against players that are just a uh, lower rank, right? Not lower rank any rank because you can find players at a high rank too, and then they're like, shh, that's all they do, right? They don't know how to punish. They don't even understand what a punish is. If they can't, if they get hit with a punish, they'll be like, oh man, you're cheating me because I blocked that shit, blah, 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 right? But the fact that they're that bad and they're still like at like high ranks, right? And you're just like, wow, okay. Why does it, oh it's not supposed to count as a combo? Right? Damn. Bro, this game has gotten to a point where like I don't even know him anymore, man. Like, you can't even get matches anymore. There you go. Finally, somebody, bro. Somebody. Get ready for the next Raven. Battle. Raven. Man, I don't even know why today I've been playing just like really low rank players. Uh, and then they like quit on me like this. This is what I'm talking about like the game. I mean, maybe I didn't get disconnected this time, but It is whatever man. I don't freaking know bro. Like I I, I really don't know Get ready for the next battle uh, 
I just I just leave it on here guys I'm gonna play a game on my app <laughs> this is what Tekken 8's come to guys like you're playing a d another game on your mobile phone while you're waiting in the freaking uh, rank match this is how freaking bad this game is you pair up with constantly bad players get ready for the next battle Horring, let's be real, bro. Horring players. Round one. Oh, come on, pad. Don't hit their body when they're dead, bro. They're gonna quit. Oh my goodness. I already get the feeling this guy's gonna quit, bro. Nice. <laughs> Punish? Wow. Oh, this bugs me so much, man. Like, these guys are so bad, man. No punish. Fine. Why is he constantly doing that? Wow, that whiff. <laughs> Bro, how did I even win that round? Oh. Sorry, I don't even I don't even enjoy playing rank mad anymore. He got me, yeah, he's so good and he dropped his combo. No, it was a reset, bro. It was not a drop combo, it was a freaking reset. Back to me. Totally. Whoa, that's definitely kind of hit. And he can't even fucking finish his combo, bro. He pressed, he pressed, I saw it. Nope. <laughs> bro, there's just no way this guy is in this range, right? There's just no way, man. Wait, he punished. Should have known, bro. You only have that much health left, bro. Oh, he punished again. Oh, wrong freaking combo. I wrong, wrong thing, man. Too far.
Man, Tekken 8 got boring real fast, man. Bro, imagine trying to wait for an entire year to play the character that you want to play. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Dude, like, I can't even imagine that, man. But that's something that's real, right? Since Sonic, bro, dude, what's with this freaking lag, man? Shh. Is this guy on Wi-Fi too, or what? Bro, no fucking punish right off the bat. Wait, wait, he punished? No fucking way he punished. What the freak? What is happening, bro? Is he loading like two times faster than me or what? What the hell, bro? This guy's not all that, anyways. Such an average player, bro. I mean, good man. Damn, that shit is fucking minus 15 now. Why? He was just calling it out regardless, though. That's not what I was doing, but they gave it to me, so... Darn it, bastard. Got so lucky. Bro, I lost hella points. Demo time, let's go. Wait, wait, you know how to punish? Really? What the fuck, bro? What the beep? What kind of idiot does that shit? Fucking what level of gameplay are you? Dang it. Why did that work? Really? Really? And he doesn't launch punish that? Why not? Dang, I called a low out on that one. And now you got a mid. Good shit. Call it. Darn it. Why is this player so strong? This character is so strong, man. He doesn't even know, man. He keeps pressing every time in that scenario. Why don't I just step? I'm gonna launch him every time after for 4 3. Watch. Let's see. Let's see if he changes game plan. Yeah, this guy sucks, man. You can immediately tell. Nice shit, though. Hold him out. What? It worked? 
What? What? Dude, that takes so much health. Bro, seriously. Seriously, bro. Bullshit. Bull effing shit, bro. Sorry. Get ready for the next yeah, I don't think that guy was good. I think he was so-so, you know. He was so-so. He was uh, using a lot of uh, jabs to try to interrupt the 4-4-3 uh, mix. But then I didn't really uh, change up my game to like accommodate for that. So then after that he used uh, the grab which actually worked for some reason, you know. Oh, uh, that last round he just freaking uh, threw like a bunch of pressure option and then went for the low option at the end. But that's what I'm talking about. Like if you're not used to uh, playing against players that are just going to throw out like that, then you're never going to throw out the... Uh, the you're never gonna throw out your own um, power crush, right? Because I'm not a power crush player, you know? So I'm never used to doing it. Bro, seriously? Bro, what's wrong with my pad, bro? Every time it does that. Yeah, that was just uh, his uh, heat smash at the end there. Dang it, my reaction a little late. Yeah, that was his C smash. It was a low. It's, it's a low starter. I don't remember the frames on it though. I mean, like the frames when you hit that on block, you know. I figured he wasn't going to do the right option there because he got confused. Damn! Freaking tracks well, bro. Nice shit. Yeah, Leo is so freaking strong in this game. Why? Darn it! <sighs> Leo was stupid in this game, bro. Oh, 
Too lame. I can't parry the... I can't punish the one. He doesn't have great defense. He's just... Probably loads really fast. Very likely. I fucking died. I truly believe this guy low fast now. I know it sucks. Anyways, man, I don't know. Man. Like, um, that guy, like, really doesn't even freaking know how to do, like, throw breaks and shit. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know, I just don't like Leo players in general, man. One thing is, the character is obviously way too overpowered, right? Like, I don't understand why you're gonna get parry. You're gonna have parries that goes into like a launcher. Like, why does that even exist in this game? Right? If you got parries that goes in a launcher at frame startup at like what? Five? That's bullcrap, right? That's worse than just having like a bunch of stupid power crush, right? Because power crush starts out at seven frame. Time. And they don't give you launchers. The majority of them don't get you launcher, you know? Like this one, if you hit him in the air, yeah, but most of the time, you're not going to hit him in the air with this shit. Unless they have like a slash kick or some shit like that, yeah? I don't know, and then Tekken 8 is full of this waiting time, bro. Get ready for the next battle. <sighs> I told you to try something to get ready for the, the next battle. Issue. What was it? Maybe you can give me a Another, uh, give me another, uh, Man, 
Lily's option put her in the airborne too much, man. Oh, at least I got the big ass damage. I don't give a shit. Nice dog though, man. I'm good, bro. Nanko wants you to buy more. Oh shoot, that's right. You did tell me to do that. I forgot. Yeah, I'm jack player, bro. No pun. Whoa! He dead. Fight. Really? He still hit me, man? That's so fake, bro. How did you hit me right there? That didn't make any sense. I swear it was a zero option right there, man. To buy Mahan's exclusive. <laughs> What if I uh what if I buy the the pass, the battle pass? I'm just gonna do that no matter what. Damn, he just press even after like minus eight? That for four three is way too slow, man. Forget that that shit is mid. Ooh, input not going. Nice. Yeah, too impatient, bro. Falls for that every time, but I just don't believe that he will. Bro, there's no way. Nice call out by me. Nice. You actually duck that. Like, I can't believe like a bad player can duck that. I mean, I I don't. No, if he's bad, but it feels like he's really bad, right? <laughs> Darn it. You. because he just didn't understand the game. Ah, oh, sorry. I don't know, man. Jack players, bro. Get ready for the next battle. Specimen, Ninko. Okay. Ninko wants you to buy mod exclusive from them now. Nice. <laughs> special move, guy. Special, special. Yeah, the thing is, uh, 
I plan I plan to purchase ten dollars of uh, Tekken coin and then use it to recycle the battle pass, right? Until like my character comes out. If my character ever comes out. If my character doesn't come out, I don't freaking know. I'd be wasting my time playing this game for the next year. I don't know why, but that's uh, whatever it is, man. It is what it is. Can't help it. Bro, my pad, bro. Feels <laughs> like this player clearly doesn't know the things either. <laughs> but I'm respecting them too much, right? So I'm trying to do like next level tricks. Where I should just do like normal tricks. Nice. I ducked. Round two. Fight. Darn it. I did it too slow. Man. I didn't even do slash kick. I literally did a low move. He should have blocked it, but. It's minus 12. Why is it freaking minus 12? It's like Lars's freaking move, you know? Next level. Next level tech. Last match. Last set, basically. Why is that hit all the way, man? She can stop too, which is kind of annoying. Darn it, I held back. But I pressed back. So I guess I get hit because I pressed back. So lame. Same shit. Darn 
turn it. Oh my goodness, I can press in between? <laughs> I didn't know I could press in between there. <laughs> that doesn't jail? That's what I'm trying to say. That doesn't jail? I thought that would at least jail. I should have just jabbed her out of there. Bro, I didn't know that 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 was her rage smash, right? He smashed, he doesn't jail? now? Why? <sighs> Can't believe that shit launches now. So is it launch punishable too? Take that time, why? So harder. Round four. Fight. Dang it. He called it. Wait. Seriously? Didn't I hit him with the two on block? That was BS, bro. Okay, one more. One more set. Maybe. Maybe if I feel like I could wait long enough for this damn set to come up. We'll see. Honestly, I think this game is the first Tekken game that I might stop playing before the next Tekken. <laughs> right? Like, it's weird. Like, I play all the other Tekken games, like, pretty consistently. Maybe not true. I do switch them. Like, I do kind of stop playing them until the next one come out. But I still play them, kind of, right? But, I mean, I guess I will probably jump on it once every in a long time. But, I don't know. It's not... I don't know, it, it really isn't a game where like, uh, if you are a person who wants to like, play the game at like, um, uh, a good understanding and winning with, uh, good knowledge, right? It feels weird, right? Like, it's, I'm not saying that people that are just spamming, like, crushing options are not good at the game. It's just saying like, well, if you're just spamming all that crazy shit, it's almost like, well, it's more like you're just hoping that you win rather than you're winning because you 
or seeing what's happening and you're trying to change up, you know. <coughs> Get rid of the mob folder and try it again. Yeah? Let me do it one... Is this gonna be one match anyway, so... I'm just gonna run one set after this. Give me a few seconds. I'll get rid of my mod folder. Here goes my mod folders. I don't know if I should have did that or not, but here. Let me redo this one. This mod doesn't have anything in it, so. Okay. Uh, the ranked. Yeah, maybe I should remove that mod too then. It's weird because um, that, I don't have anything in that mod folder because they have two separate mod folders, but. Oh, well, let's do that. Let's do that and let's play one more round and see what we get. If it connects. If it takes like two to three minutes just to match up a player, because normally when you get on, if you are in the right queue, it takes like less than 10 seconds, right? And you hook up with somebody. And then it would like, disc, uh, if they don't join, you will, you know, reshuffle the, the thing, you know? <clears throat> Man, yeah. I don't know what Tekken 8 developers think, but all I know is they can only see dollar signs, man. They can only see yen signs, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, yen sign. Bro, where's Kazuya? I have no idea. They don't let you choose who you get to put on that front pace. This is automatically Eddie, man. Well, I hope at some point it's going to automatically be Anna, bro, because I want those people to get annoyed of seeing Anna, too. Because I'm already annoyed of seeing Eddie's ugly face, man. Nobody likes Eddie. Nobody likes any of these characters. I don't like any of these characters. The fact that I played Tekken for like 25 years and I don't like any of these fucking characters, man. Look at all these shitty characters. I guess the only character I could still say is okay is Kuma. <laughs> Ah, uh, bro. I don't have any uh, real outfits anymore. <clears throat> what is what? What is what? What is this shit, bro? I do not I wanna see only the latest DLC character. <laughs> That's what they're doing right now, man. I don't know what they're doing with this, so I can't say. I mean, they say, oh, eventually they're gonna let it be just whichever character you want to put on there, but bro, nobody want to see anybody on there, man. Like, at least if it's my favorite character, yeah, I get it. At least, you know, I wouldn't be... I mean, honestly, I don't even look at those characters on there anyways. Like, Eddie's been on there for, like, what? Almost, uh, like, a month now, maybe? Nobody cares a shit, right? Kaze was on there for like two months, man. And yeah, pretty sure everybody is annoyed of the character being there. It's like they have to try to make it seem like, oh, well, look at the graphics, bro. If you zoom up on the graphic, this is how the character module looks like, right? You know one thing is though, uh, since Anna is one of those characters that doesn't have a move that hits round, like rounded opponent, 
Let me rephrase that. Ana doesn't have a mid move, a realistic neutral in the neutral mid move that does it. She does have like the side step three, which is takes like 30 plus frames to do, which is bad. Um, and it doesn't angle well anyways. So yeah, and I'm still getting paired up with shitty players. So I don't freaking know what's wrong with this game. Hey, what's up? If you wanna, if you, if, if there's gonna be a major game changing update, I don't think we'll see it in the end of the year. Yeah. Bro, by the time Anna comes out, they're gonna be adding like wall bounces to the game, man. That's how I feel like, you know? Bro, like I'm so bored of fighting these freaking players, man. Oh. Oh, he did it. 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 Round two. Fight. Yeah. <sighs> I don't get why Law's fucking move is uh, only minus 14 now. It's kind of lame because certain characters they could still punish him really good, but certain character they don't do shit. Like Lily, right? Minus 14 is almost trash for her. Oh shoot, I thought I pressed the wrong button anyway. Still minus 15. Damn. I move cracks like a truck, bro. <sighs> Couldn't think of an option right there. I know, I'm just messing around, bro. Uh, well, this is probably my last match. Unless this dude wants to play one more. I'll give him one more match. If he doesn't, then we're done. Nope, we are done. Yep. I don't know. Tekken A, Tekken A isn't all that, man. I'll have to say that. 3-2, I mean, it was obvious. Yeah, anyways, this is going to be it, guys. Probably going to see you guys next week. But, I don't know, uh, next week, I might I might, I might, might not stream, who knows. Because next week is the uh, evil week, so probably be watching a lot of evil next week. I think they usually do it, what, sa uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, the, the first champion that comes out of this evil is going to be a surprise, right? I just don't think Arslan's going to win it. I definitely think Nii's not going to win it. Um, I think, like, I don't know how good the European players are right now. The American players aren't that good either. At least I don't feel like. You know, like, the best American player that I've played, I just can't really say, right? Because, like, I fought Anakin a few times, but Anakin doesn't look that good. Um... Uh, I don't know if I fought. Uh, I fought Joe Crush. He doesn't look that good. Hayes doesn't look that good. Um, I haven't played Speed Kicks uh, on his YouTube. He looks pretty good. Um, who else? Like big name player. Oh, I played. Uh, I play Shadow a little bit, but I've always had my doubts with Shadow because he has that bad playstyle like my uh, kind of like my playstyle that's not really suited for uh Tekken 8 that much like he's developed a game where he's trying to play more like Tekken 8 but I still think I don't know I haven't really seen him play a lot I've played against him one time and that was it it was not a big uh match I don't recall it uh, the European player I don't know how good they are but like I watch I do watch a lot of the Korean players I don't watch that much of the Japanese player either because they don't like the people that makes big tournaments are basically a lot of the Korean player, right? They they showcase it a lot, 
and out of those group, maybe CBM seems decent, maybe uh, Usan seems decent, but I'll tell you the two characters that I would pick to win, or maybe three characters. There's three characters that I would think that has the shot of winning the EVO, right? It doesn't even matter who's playing them. I think the three character and Dragunov is not going to be one of them. The three character that I think would probably have a big chance of winning it is Horing, Yoshimitsu, and Azucena. Horing, Yoshimitsu, and Azucena. Those are my three pick characters that is going to win Evil. <laughs> one of those three. That's my guess. But yeah, four girl. I mean, all these things. It's gonna be fucking Chloe guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, what's his name? That guy's not that good though. Um, um, whatever his name was, yeah, it starts with an F though. I don't think Dragnov is gonna win though. I don't think the best Dragnov players I that I've been seeing playing lately has been like JDCR, right? And yeah, JDCR has made a few impacts, right? Like he's being some of the better players lately, but I don't see him being. That like the the thing is, Yoshimitsu, Huaring, and Azucena feels like the mind game pressure is way better. Uh, Dragnov is very good, but like he is just more like pressure, pressure, less mind game, right? He has to force the mind game. When he forces the mind game, all those other characters force the mind game. But the difference is, he gives himself up more when he forces the mind game, right? Like he's gonna have to go for slower option in more disadvantaged situation, whereas those other character you know that they're gonna be in pressure situation and still have strong mind game situation, right? Because Dragnov doesn't really have a stance to go to, to be like really plus in. Where those characters like if they move into a certain uh, stance, they get extremely plus and they can throw out very powerful low and mid mix and shit like that, and then they can really get like. In situations where like you know they're gonna do way more damage for like less um risk right stuff like that but yeah your bet is on Azucena yeah the thing is if Arslan wins it could be either Nina Azucena or June right those are the three that I feel that he's very strong with right but if he wins we will probably call him out as the Azucena character because it's probably the one that's going to carry him for the most of the tournament. That's what I think. Um, but if Usan wins, I think it's going to be Azucena as well, right? See, that's the thing. Like, there's Fang players. Joker is good. He plays Fang. I haven't really watched him, but okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this leaderboard, right? If you look at this leaderboard and you look at these players right now, this is what I'm going to tell you, right? Joker is first. Here, he's beating everybody, right? Is he that good uh, in tournaments? I don't know. He might be, right? Because I think he's won some of the tournaments. Uh, and then you got Jod, <clears throat> who's really good too. Also a Nina Mo a loyalist who is like primarily playing Nina. But I don't know if he can beat guys at the higher level, like at the high level like uh, Arslan and um, the other players, right? I think he can do very well on his region. Uh, same with Joker, right? But <clears throat> I don't know who this guy is. Chikorin with Lily, I don't know, man. I watch a lot of Chikorin with Lily. Lily doesn't have enough good tools in um, in the real right situation, right? Like, I've always compared like Lily to Lang, right? Like, if you got Lang doing like low low mid mix up at plus like eighteen, that's far more scarier than Lily doing a mix up in Okizemi situation only. Right, because Lily doesn't have anything to get her plus 18 or plus like big enough situation where you can force the uh, you know the the spinning uh, mix up right. You have to do it during Okizemi, in which it's not that hard to see and block right, or it's not that dangerous because now if you stay down, you don't even have to worry about the mix up right. But then uh, Xiaoyu is way stronger right. But uh, Hayes, I don't know man Hayes. I feel like uh, Master Raven players, right, Raven players are just being carried, right? I fought Hayes, he's not that good. I beat him in a set, so I don't feel like he's that strong. Yamagi, I don't know if he's that strong either. I've never seen him play. Um, Reef is up here. He's good. Like, Edge and Reef, yeah, right? Edge definitely 
you've seen Edge beat a lot of the Korean players, and you just like thinking this guy is really good. Uh, and then you got Reef, probably really good. I haven't seen him, but like CBM says, uh, Jin is very good against a lot of people, so there's a lot of chance that Jin can win it too because of CBM and you got Reef, right? But as far as, um, <clears throat> yeah, Yamagi, I haven't really seen him play much. That's the thing. So I can't really say much about him. But if you look at these top players, there's no Dragnov up here. There's no Azucena, right? These are the loyalists, right? The players that play their character primarily, right? You don't see that stuff. But um, here's the Dragnov. But as far as I know, um, I see that the most threatening characters definitely is Yoshimitsu, um, Yoshimitsu, Horing. The reason why I put Horing in there is because I've seen Edge beat up all the Korean players, and it seems like nobody can take him on. Like uh, in a first to two set, it's really hard. And then um, obviously you got other uh, Horing player too, just not him. And then obviously maybe Jin players can win too because CBM is really strong, you know, and you got a lot of Jin players too. And Jin's very strong too, let me rephrase that. Uh, but I don't see Lily winning. I don't see Nina winning unless it's like Arslan Ash winning and he just wins it with like a different character, you know, and then mix and match Nina in there somewhere. Uh, uh, Fing definitely has a big chance. I mean, I could see Joker winning. I think Joker is that strong, but I don't know. Jod is probably that strong too, but I just... Jod hasn't really won something really big, right? That's just the thing, right? But Joker, at least you feel like he's won big stuff. So you kind of feel like in the pressure moment, he probably can do it. Chikorin, like I said, he, he's obviously won big stuff, but I also feel like he's one of those guys that... Like if you play Lily, you understand that your character is more or less not going to be very efficient in the... Uh, power crush uh generic crush option you know you probably rely on more and it's more or less not safe you know but anyways i'm just gonna close it out with that i do think azucena uh uh yoshimitsu and Ring are the three that you should look forward to seeing in the uh in the top eight at least if i'm wrong and none of those three gets in the top eight i will be so shocked like if no azucena no Ring, or no yoshimitsu makes it to the top eight I'll be really shocked if it's just Victor, Master Raven, I mean Victor, Raven, and um, Dragnov, I will be, or, or and Fang, that would be really crazy, right? Because those, those would, and Jin, like the, the next five would be those, right? Jin, um, Raven, uh, Victor, Dragnov, and whoever I haven't said. But yeah, that's my guess. But anyways, I'm going to close it out like this, guys. See you guys all next time. Bye-bye.